Time to go parts shopping. I'm gonna bring you with me. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton Speed Shop. got some parts slowly coming in some of it's just right back here uh we'll be going through some of that um it's not very much right now but we're heading to a place right now that uh so he's got some model a pieces of parts that he wants to so let's go i'm actually going about like 10 minutes from the house so um i have to go into the place that has uh the guy who has this place as Melissa's favorite Model A in the history of Model A's. Um, hopefully he'll let us, uh... so we'll see when we get there. <laughs> you ever forget to record? Uh, didn't get uh, a whole lot of stuff. I actually just stared at uncle. And he gave me this uh, sweet stool to roll around on the, in the shop. So can't beat that with a stick. So let's go home. You hang up. No. You. No. You. Ha! Ha! Fine. Kids. Yep. We did some parts stuff yesterday. Not too much. We won't even, I won't even, I'm not going to go into them right now. Um, we got to do some musical hot rods. Gonna... So, anyway. Um. We got to prepare for winter time now. I mean, uh, it's October and um, it's time. So uh, I'm gonna get this fired up, take it out, and then we're gonna get Clyde fired up, hopefully. Take it out. Uh, very windy today, so uh, hang on to your hats. Hello, I'm Shad. This is on Speed and Speed Show. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we need to put the caps back on, Bonnie. I found them when well, we took me all summer. Stop. I didn't look that hard either. Hey, okay. it's a 9 16th. I think. Who took all my 9 16th? You guys want to learn to put these on? Okay, hold on a second. All right. We're down. Oh, almost fell. We're down on the floor. See these right here? You don't see them. Right there? Okay. No gasket. There should there be? Yeah. Is there? No. Why? What do I do? Let's take them on there. That's all there's to it. Well, you might say, Chad, why are you put the cards away so soon? Well, it's really not that soon. It's gonna get cold soon. So then you take your net 16s and you go back here. And you just hang them off, you know. That's loosening. <laughs> nope, that's loosening. I don't even know. like that and then we do other things with cars stand around stick around stuff. so there comes a time every car guy's life that you put your dump tube caps on and you think this is still gonna be awesome this is still gonna be rowdy let's change it let's, yeah, hey, yeah is that 
the two. Here we go. Is it awesome? You tell me. Because it is. Now we gotta do from this one over there, but that one over here. Hold on. All right, we're in the car. Bonnie's idle down. That's my skulls. They might say, where are you going? This way. mild mannered sounding when she has the dump tube caps on. Still sounds great though. Someone hit that sign? I don't know. Not me. Body sounding good, behaving good. Let's get off of that crack in the road. Should we do a burnout? Not right now. Pretty quiet out here today. It's nice. Besides, remember we got Johnny Long in the neighborhood. That's fine, you're just tipping over just a little. There we go. And Bonnie's a wicked little car. A couple things we learned from that. <clears throat> Should have had a coat on, maybe. It's uh, not very warm and it's a very cold north wind. What do you think? Think this turd's gonna start? I don't know either. Make sure the battery's on. Uh, what? Taking it for a walk. I don't have time for this today. I played that for free. Never forget, Bonnie's a good one. It's not good that I'm getting good at that. <sighs> I don't know. Battery's dead, I guess. <sighs> Kidding, again.
Okay, so you saw one of the cards did great, one of the cards did not. One of the cards is a dead battery again. Don't know why. Battery wasn't even connected to anything. I mean, it was shut off. So, I think we got a weak battery or something. Maybe uh, it wouldn't discharge so far. It just said, nope, we're done. But, I guess that's neither here nor there. Not with a fox, not in a box. Not here or there, not anywhere. No, glad I am. It's, it's not a thing. We also need to talk about here. Let me back it up. Our friend Creepy here, because I've had a lot of people telling me that uh, that frame, that Bowling Brothers frame. Belongs in the Clyde. Now, some advantages and disadvantages of that. Number one advantage, we already have an engine transmission. We already know it works. We already know a lot about Clyde. We know he has good radiator and stuff. Uh, there are some parts we can use, of course. Um, and It would be one hell of a good riding hot rod on that frame. Especially when we do some stuff with that suspension and whatnot, you know, because we got some things happening, man, I'm telling you. Things are coming, things are coming along. And uh, I don't know, it's a tough call on what we should do. I mean, we're not getting rid of Creepy. There's no reason to. It's a good car. Um, I mean, if somebody wanted to buy Creepy, Will we sell them? Sure, probably. Uh, if you wanted to, you just down the thing. But it's a good old car. Um, needs his work. You've seen. It'll be a great project. I mean, I have a frame for it and everything. So, oh, there's cool stuff that I could sell with it if I decided to go that route, which I probably might. Maybe who knows? Probably not. I think Clyde deserves better, even though I don't like him very much. And then, you know, we talk about how much he's a turd and whatnot and Tom Queen. Sure would be nice to fix all the stuff that's wrong with Clyde and Clyde it up, man. If we go that route, it's going to take us a long time. I bet it would take us at least a year. Because we got, you know, in transmission, we got to move that. We got to take the body off. We got to fit it to that frame. We got to, you know, we got to take this, the suspension off. And now we can reuse those hairpins and whatnot. You know, over the, you know, over there. You know, and rear end. Meh, meh, me. We have that one. We have this one. Who knows? I mean, we could go kind of however we want to go with it, really. You know? Um, we'll leave it channeled. Put the brakes back underneath where they belong. We got discs in the front already. I know the drums in the back are good. Build or rebuild, man. Good thing we don't have to decide today. Well, anyway. Put creepy back where he belongs and and uh wrap it up for the day all right well what do we do so far move that from where it was to where it is up here Clear, took Clyde for a walk drove body around the loop now build or rebuild hopefully we'll have a decision by the next time we come back see you soon all right I know I said I'd have a decision by the time we came back, but we don't yet. Not yet. What I do have is yesterday's Big Red. It's not bad. It's warm. Half flat, you know. So, what we're going to do... 
because I need to find out how Clyde is mounted to the frame. If he's welded, we have a different problem. If he's not, well, change things. Hold on a second. Hello, welcome to the floor. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's leaking. That's cool. Who made this car so low? And who likes it? I do. Okay, that's rusty. That's. I don't know what that is. Something. That's the shifter. Leaking. Right there. Looks to me like he's bolted down. They cut it off with their teeth. I don't know. This is wet. That's still leaking. That's cool. I don't know what's on that. That's grease. Oh, that's the steering box. It's greasy. That's cool. That's still leaking. That's engine oil. Well, what we've learned is he's bolted down. That doesn't help, does it? Kind of does. I don't know. It's fixing some rust. It's putting the metal back where it used to be. Like, like that. Like, all right, anyway. Well, he's bolted down. All right, kids. So you've seen <laughs> the, the issues that the cars are having. Uh, you've seen all that cool stuff. Hopefully you've enjoyed the fact that we've got them back on track. Even that one, maybe. Maybe. Um, anyway, so what it all comes down to now is... And you've seen uh, our cool, our new sponsors, you know, Pete and Jake's Hot Rod Parts and uh, all the American Coilovers, along with uh, Bowling Brothers for our new build. But um, I still don't know. I still don't know what we're going to do. So I'm just going to wrap it up and... Uh, I guess stick around and see what happens. Keep on wrenching. <laughs>